together we can show the world what we can do You are next to me and I'm next to you Push me on through until the battle's won No one's gonna give a thing to us Into each other we put our trust Standing united Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Jerry Game here. Today I'm gonna be starting a playthrough on a quick playthrough on Marvel vs. I mean Marvel Superheroes, one of the classic arcade games. So I wanted to do this while I wanted to get also give out my review of um Avengers Infinity War. So don't worry, this is gonna be a spoiler-free video. I will do a spoiler video at some point, but I won't later until you have time. I probably will do it like at the end of the week, um, and by the time everyone's um, seen at this point. So let's dive right into it. Now, the movie, here is my perspective. It's basically the best superhero film I've seen um, second to like Black Panther because it's like number two on my list and my first and right now number one on my list is Black Panther of course um, but right now this has to be the biggest crossover I've ever seen in my life second to the Crisis on Earth X um, in DC Universe on CW because they were able to incorporate so many characters, they were able to get each of one of them right and keep their um, backstories um, at the minimum while introducing new characters for later across um, for later movies at some point. All the performances by the characters were on point. There were no errors I found. Only a couple of them, but they won't don't matter. It had so many good performances, they even had good actors. All the matchups were even greater, and they were able to include all the characters. They were, they were, they were able to throw in Black Panther, they were able to use the new Spider-Man, which is the one I'm finding right now, sadly. And they were able to include the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was, a, yeah, that was the best, the other thing that blew my mind. There were two things, there were three things that blew my mind about the movie. For one, it was the Guardians, the matchups, because for one, they had um, the heroes team up with all the solo characters they've introduced um, from 2016 to ever since Civil War, because they um, introduced Black, Black Panther and Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, um, which each had their own solo movies, which set up um, a a universe worth of spin-offs that could continue the MCU after the Infinity War, uh, uh, which I'm looking forward to seeing later this year um, in the future for the MCU. <clears throat> the second thing was the villain. Thanos is probably the like best villain second to Eric Killmonger. The st his story for and reason for collecting the Infinity Stones was just tear-dropping air. And they um, really had a good connection with the character as to his uh, reason for collecting the Infinity Stones. He, they were really able to really capture his character well, and Josh Brolin did a good job. And wow, the Juggernaut is insanely powerful in this game. And the, I liked his performance, and I'm hoping that they are able to use him in the future. And of course, the third thing was the last Infinity Stone, which was the Soul Stone. So, if you haven't figured it out or seen the other uh, Marvel movies, they've only shown the Power Stone, the Soul, the Time Stone, the the, the um those. Oh, I forgot the rest. The Reality Stone. It was Time, Space, Reality, Power, and then. Um, yeah, it was like time, space, power, yeah, I think that's it, and then reality, though they were able to use each of those infinity stones and okay, yeah, this juggernaut's overpowered, and just to see the soul stone's energy, really, um, uh, took the, the show, the series into a new perspective, as for the rest, 
I liked all the mashups they had with um, each of the new characters because you get to see um, Iron Man work with Doctor Strange. You get to see uh, Black Panther work with. Did this dude just destroy my health in like one hit? Okay, this dude really is a juggernaut. And of course, you get to see Captain America once again reconnect with Bucky. And it just has so many good matchups, and I really wish this could be like in more multiple movies. But of course, they were able to do this all in one movie. And probably the best thing they did for the movie was the post credit scene. So, I want to do this so you don't want to spend a lot, a lot of time inside the theater waiting for um, what's going to happen next. So, there's gonna, there's not that many uh, post credit scenes, it's just one. There's not like two or three. I, lots of people were expecting multiple, but it's just going to be one post credit scene that truly changes the MCU entirely. Because the second you see this, you'll know what's going to come next later for this year and the future of the MCU. Oh. Alright, so now that I talked about on um, this um, spoiler free, I'm going to focus on the game now. So, the way the game works is that it's a lot of slim, similar to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. For their gameplay, which has the Infinity Stones, but in order to use the Infinity Stones in this game, you would have to have a full bar of power, and you have each st stone used separately. So you have you get different real um, Infinity Stones um, at random periods of time throughout the game. So if you uh, get taken enough damage, then you can actually lose a stone, and your opponent can actually use it against you once they have a full bar of health. It's really amazing. And now, and of course, you can do um, the abilities that they have is for reality, it can um, surround you with a beam of projectiles protecting you from attacks. The soul stone, of course, gives you health. The time stone speed um, speeds you up, like right now. Which the, um, this weird tentacle thing did. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is from. It's just like um, something from Capcom, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate that reality stone. The s no, no, no. I hate that soul stone. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, great. A power up. Anything else to add? Take that! I only beat you with two stones. But they are. Alright, so now we got Magneto. Alright, time for some accident action. Now, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't even include, like, the X-Men or the Fantastic Four, because you're gonna see, like, a few things, because if you see, like, the... So, um, the comic, if you read the comic Infinity Gauntlet, it matches up to all, each of the things that happens in the, in the movie. Because you're gonna see a few comparisons that they changed, um, without, like, the Fantastic Four or the X-Men. And I wish they, um, kind of acted them, because that would have been good, but sadly, Fox owns both X-Men and the Fantastic Four, so that's a no for mutants until later this year at some point hopefully um the mcu comes to a deal with fox and we're finally able to see them together because i just want to see hugh jackman alongside either robert downey jr and them have and then just doing an epic battle with either dr Doom or galactus because if you i think because, um, if you don't know this, Sony already made a deal to work with, uh, Marvel Studio, Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we're good on that goal. We just need to come together with Fox, and then it will just be a major success. Because you'll be able, they'll be finally able to incorporate Galactus, Doctor Doom, and probably maybe even the Sentinels. Just so many bigger villains from... Fantastic Four and X-Men that are just way too big that they have 
Yeah, so if you saw the other um, cinematic movie, which was Rise of the Silver Surfer, you you mostly see the Fantastic Four fighting Silver Surfer, which is epic and all, because I really liked how the Silver Surfer was played by one of my favorite actors, which was Lawrence Fishburne, who's actually going to be in the next Ant-Man movie for Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I think I, I remember... I think he's gonna play another hero that's gonna join up with Ant-Man, but I forgot who he's gonna be, so I might have to look that up later, but be sure to look out for that, and we're also getting another trailer for that tomorrow, so I might do something for Ant-Man and the Lost at some point. Oh, alright, alright, let's go, come on, come on, come on, Doctor. Oh, alright, come on. <clears throat> yeah, so... When you see the Rise of the Silver Surfer, it's a lot different from the actual Galactus because it's more like a giant space cloud or whatever that you see, but it isn't really him. It is an all the almighty Galactus. Alright, so here we are against Thanos, and he has all of the Infinity Stones. Alright, so he's gonna use each of them in his own way. I might have to. So this is just a one round fight, so here we go. I got my Animantium Claws while he's got all the Infinity Stones. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I hit him with that combo. Alright. Oh, I do have a good list for movies to see for you guys um, before if you're interested in Infinity War at all. So, I'll leave a list down below on what you should see before Infinity War. Um, just for a heads up. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, that does not look wow. It just crushed me. Literally, this dude just like crushed me and just brought out a boulder. Oh. Wow, this dude just I guess he destroyed the world with the infinity gauntlet. Yeah, they also have lots of references to the um actual comic. Alright, so here we go. No, 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 oh, okay. Come here, come here, come on, I can't rush. Yeah, this dude, like, is so overpowered because he's using each of the stones and he's got the gauntlet in his hands. You can just see the gauntlet. And that's also the most, the best thing, the other uh, cool thing. The design for the gauntlet was just tremendous and how they were able to put each stone in there and it beat me with it. Alright, come on, third time's the charm. Alright, I'm gonna tear that thing to shreds. Yeah. The other thing about um, the Infinity Gauntlet is that, um, if you don't know this, it's actually designed by... It, it, Infinity Gauntlet probably has a lot more connection with Thor because it was designed by people that were, um, designed the, uh... That designed his weapon, which was Mjolnir, and they were able to also design the Infinity Gauntlet. And that's actually gonna have to become a big thing for the movie. Oh, did you just throw a bubble at me? <laughs> huh, no wonder you just lost right now. And that's why Wolverine can't be in there, and now we have the Infinity Stones. So now we can rule the world. Fun said we just return everyone to normal. Oh, hey, it's Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Alright, so let's see this ending. Yeah, I like the endings in this game. They're all, they're a lot accurate, and I let, enjoy each of them. So yeah, I'm gonna post more Marvel stuff this week for Infinity War. I hope you guys enjoyed my review and me playing this game. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. And enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys.